Hello, I'm not sure who's going to be watching this, but I got a request on how to take a 1956 TV box Rippler apart. So I figure I'd grab my phone and take video on how to do that. Um, it's just me, so I'll do my best to get the best angles and show you exactly what all to take out and what comes apart. And hopefully this will help you if you tackle this yourself. Um, and there's the other half. I did partially take it apart, at least the top and bottom. So it's just literally four screws. You can see the two little hinges up top here. Those have been the top two. Those have to come out completely. And then these bottom ones, all you really have to do is just loosen them up. Um, pretty much what you're going to need is a screwdriver. You can use a handheld one too, but I like using this one. Some kind of a bowl. I like the magnetic bowls just because they're magnetic. And the fact that having little kids and dogs around the house, the last thing I need is for one of them to eat one. So it just helps me keep track. And then when you get to the actual scene, you're going to need one of these. Well, it really comes in handy. Um, and here it is. It's actually a really clean example of one, too. So, and I, I already took a skewer out, but basically start with... Once you get to this part, there's going to be eight screws going around the whole perimeter. So you have two right here and on each other side. So I'm going to take those out and then we'll go start the next step. All right, next step. Should have four black Phillips screws right there. Nothing should be in the center. So that'll be the next step is to take those four out. All right, we took those four out. We took the eight around the perimeter out. Now we can flip this upside down and the plastic outer case, which is this gray piece, should come out. Of course, I'm doing this by myself. But basically, you just wanna make sure you grab it by the inner metal one too, because it's gonna, you don't want to, you don't want it to fall on your counter or wherever you're working on. So I'm gonna do this by myself here. Should be fine. Should be able to just pull up. Ooh, look at that. So here we are, we got that done so far. So the next step, we have two screws here, two screws on the exact other side. You gonna take those out and show you the steps after that. Now one thing I should have said in the other part was to flip this this way, upside down so the scene is not facing you. I think it's a little easier this way. Um, so basically we took these out, took those out. Now everything will pretty much come apart. Um, normally what I just do, I grab it by this white metal bar. And sometimes the glass will stick to that, but you got this. You got the glass logo plate. And one thing, you just want to be very careful with this for a couple of reasons. One, well, it's sharp, um, but it's in a groove here in the metal case. You don't want to just yank it back, potentially cracking it. And a lot of times this tape is kind of making it so it doesn't want to come out and you probably will have to peel it back. But sometimes with this tape too, depending on how well it's put on, well, this one's not too bad, but sometimes they do take some of the paint off on this glass, so let's see. Well, I guess we'll have to see when it's put together what it looks like, but it shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, just take your time. Don't rush getting this out. Like I said, it's it's only fragile once. <laughs> just a matter of just getting the right angle. There we go. Just be careful with it. Put it somewhere safe. And you got this blue metal bar. That should just come right out. Probably doesn't help that this blanket I'm using isn't even either, so it gets stuck on that. There it is. There you got that. So now pretty much the only thing left is getting the glass out. 
There's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you know, personally for me, I'm going to have to use two hands for this, but what I like to do is tip it up so I would grab here, lift this up, just have one hand on the bottom supporting it so the glass, just in case, doesn't fall. Uh, I mean, you could kind of tilt it up this way and start pulling it out, but it seems like a lot of mine just gets stuck that way, so... I'm just going to take it out, I'm not going to be able to do it on camera, but one thing too, you just want to be careful because I, I have learned the hard way is this glass is pretty sharp. It might not look like it, but <laughs> I've learned bad, so I just recommend, you know, if you're, you know, just don't put a lot of pressure when you're doing it. You want to, you know, whether you get a mechanics glove or something on or something to, you know, put a barrier between your hand just so you don't take that chance. I mean, I'm I mean, I'm comfortable enough with still doing it, but just one of those things just to kind of be aware of if, you're, if you've never done this before. That glass is very sharp, so just please be careful.